good people. The boy No Mercy here. You know what I mean? NoMercyTV.com. At No Mercy Harlem on Twitter. Um, I basically just came to um do a blog on who I felt was my top five favorite battle rappers for the year 2012. Um, it was based on a lot of things, but most of all, it was based on um consistency, performances, um, and just overall making progress as far as battle rap, like um. You know, going from mid tier to top tier, going from proven grounds to you know what I mean. Like, it was it was a lot of people who stepped their game up. You know, a couple people that came back from you know previous losses and things like that. So I'm just gonna break down who my top five favorite artists, favorite battle artists were for 2012. Um. Number five had to be daylight. Um, prior to him battling Philly Swain, I really didn't know how um, much who he was. I seen a few battles, but that was the first battle I seen him in. And um, it's like after that, it was just like a, a step up each battle, cause um, he battled Rich Dollars at Vendetta and. I was really impressed by that performance. You know, he got the the mask and he be doing a little funny videos and shit. So he's not a person you will really um, take seriously. But then when he got in the actual battle and listened to his performance, I'm like, okay, this dude's actually nice. Like he had a few bars that was hitting and shit like that. Um, he battled Speed Dollar. That was another good performance. So. Daylight, I feel like overall for 2012, as far as, you know, really getting noticed and really getting up there, I, I feel like he definitely did a lot this past year. Had great performances and stuff like that, so that's my number five. Number four, Be Magic. Um, I always felt like Be Magic was nice as far as, you know, his wordplay and stuff like that. But I think a lot of people were sleeping on him simply because he doesn't have um, he doesn't have the crazy aggression that everybody else has. But his bars, like what he actually says, like you gotta rewind his shit two, three times just to get exactly what he's saying. You understand? Um, he battled Chilla Jones, Real Deal, um, Rosenberg. Um, damn, he had quite a few battles this year, and they was all classic performances to me. Like, I felt like all of his performances this year were definitely up to par. Um, I want to see him battle Conceited in 2013. That, that's a battle I really want to see. I really want to see them two go at it. I think that's going to be a crazy battle. Um, a battle that can go either way. You know, both of them are punchline heavy, but I feel like be magic his bars are deeper and you're gonna think more when it comes to his stuff so um be magic definitely is my number four for 2012. number three i'd have to say charlie clips um clips battled a verb you know he moved on to um him battling Averb last year was kind of like his comeback battle just for him to, you know, reassert himself, like, you know, just letting niggas know that he is that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just to let people know that this is something that he can do. You understand? Him and Averb have been calling each other out for a while, and it was a battle that had to take place. But this year, he proved that, you know, it was more than just that battle. He really had a whole lot more up his sleeve, you know, battling X Factor. Um, for a one rounder, to be exact, because he, damn, he spit like 20, 21 minutes. And as somebody who's, I wouldn't say new to the battle culture, but somebody who hasn't had that many battles on camera, you wouldn't think that he would really be able to 
you know, just go off for one round and just be spitting 20 minutes straight and keep the crowd entertained the whole time. You know, that's something that's kind of, it's not easy to do, but he was actually able to pull it off. Um, him versus Big T, you understand? His first battle out of state, you know, he did pretty good. Then for him to come back at Summer Madness 2 and battle Sirius Jones, who was basically considered a legend in the battle world, it, I think it was a dope battle. Um, I feel like Clips definitely prove that he can hold his own against even the most elite battle rappers, you understand? And I felt like in 2012, that was an objective that he accomplished, you know? Next up, he's battling Arsenal. Um, I heard he's supposed to have Young L soon too, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what um, Charlie Clips does in 2013, especially he got the music, you know, his music is pretty good too. So, you know, check out that Linux Ave Beast Volume 1, Part 2 is coming out. He got the New York nigga joint up. So, he's definitely um, number three for 2012. Number two, Math Hoffa. The reason Math Hoffa is one of my favorites for 2012 is because after the loss he had against Calico, he just bounce back. I mean, come back and battle Marv 1, 3-0 him. Come back and battle Arsenal, 3-0 him. And then he's back on his grind. You know, he's doing the blogs, he's putting music out. Um, he's lining up a lot of battles in a short period. You know, like he got Pat Stay coming up. He got Dose. You know, he got um, Hitman. He got Shotgun Shook. So for him to come back, be on a good streak and to really be kind of like back on his grind. You know, it's kind of like he reinvented himself and he, he knows how to approach these battles. He's not taking anybody for a joke. He's really coming into these battles trying to 3-0 everybody. You understand? And for someone who's been battling as long as he has, for him to still be relevant and still be putting on good performances, I think is a good look for him. In 2012, definitely um, solidified his comeback as far as the battle scene goes. So, number two. That's my number two for 2012. Favorite, favorite battle rapper for 2012, number one, Chilla Jones. Now, um, my first time seeing Chilla live was when he battled Cash Eaton. Um, it was a one rounder, and from that battle, like I had never seen him before. I heard his name, but I never watched any of his battles, heard any music. I didn't know who he was. But after that battle, something told me. If he stays consistent and keeps battling and keeps on putting up dope performances like this, he's gonna shine. And look what he did. The um the Chilla Jones and Cash Eaton battle, that actually to me, that was the night, that was any given Sunday. That was um DNA versus Tech Nine event. That was the first battle of that night. And something told me when it got on camera that that was going to be a classic, and it definitely was. Um, he had M-City. You know, he had, um, had J.C. A oh, fucking, that's, to me, Chilla Jones versus J.C. is a timeless battle. Like, that's going to be a battle people are going to watch forever. Like, that's going to be a battle people are going to watch for years to come. Um, had a battle with B-Magic. You know, even though he choked in the third round, I still felt like he gave us a classic performance. And it's like, Chilla Jones gives us classic after classic after classic. And there's not a lot of battle rappers that do that. Just classic, 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 you know. So many battles straight. So, um, I definitely feel like this was a good year for him as far as getting known. And just establishing himself so quick like he's technically a top tier artist now if you think about it you know just with the ability he has and what he can bring to the table you know he doesn't use um personals and things like that so i think this is definitely the start of bringing something new to the battle game which is like just going into a battle with straight bars no personals no props, no dumb shit, just straight up killing your opponent with your pure talent. You understand? And 
I think a lot of battle rappers, especially new ones coming into the game, should follow suit as far as that goes. So, um, yep, those are my top five battle rappers for 2012.